Bonjour, mes amis, and welcome to Gourmet Cooking. Let's do a little Italian food today. In fact, let's do a little Italian homestyle country type cooking. Very simple, straightforward, rustic, but so, so good. The first thing we're going to do is a zuppa di vedura. That's an Italian vegetable soup. Very straightforward, not very complicated, but ever so good. Just delicious. And with that, we're going to have a salami and cheese tart, a timbalo di salami e formaggio, a pie type thing with, with ricotta cheese and salami and other things in it and baked in the oven. It's just quite beautiful and it makes for a good main course. And with that, we're going to have some asparagus with an anchovy sauce. So those are the three things that we're going to do today. And for those of you that are interested, the recipes are on pages 142 and 143 of Volume 5 of Gourmet Cooking. Now, let's start with the asparagus because they take about 20 minutes to cook. And we have some beautiful, fresh asparagus. Now, I always like to peel them. First of all, this part down here is really not very edible. It's really tough. It's good to make soups and sauces out of, but to eat, I don't find it very um, tender. So, and I like to peel my asparagus. It's so easy and it makes the whole stalk edible and so delicious. So let's do another one. Break off that little tough part at the end and about three to five strokes. And we've got this asparagus peeled. One more and then we'll go to our boiling water. Now I have some salted water <clears throat> at the boil. We're gonna put our, our um, asparagus into the boiling water and let them cook for about 20 minutes. So let's take this over to the edge of the stove here where I have the pot of boiling water. Uncover and we'll drop in our asparagus and I have two pounds and of course, we peeled all the others ahead of time to save time so that we can get all these things done on camera. But this beautiful green color is gonna get even greener in this water. Now we wanna cover that, bring that back to the boil and simmer those for about 20 minutes. And then we'll make a really interesting sauce to go with that and serve that at the end of the meal. So that's dish number one under the way. Now let's get our soup under the way because it has several stages. And in between that, we'll do our pie. All right, our, our soup starts out with some onion and we've already taken two nice medium onions, chopped them, and we have sauteed those in four tablespoons of olive oil. So there they are and they're just about ready for the other vegetables that we're going to use. And one of those is going to be four nice carrots, I mean, <laughs> potatoes that is. And we want to cut that. Now I peeled them and cut the others. I'm going to cut this piece in four and then cut this in maybe three pieces and then come through and dice our potatoes we want fairly small dice. Then the other piece, we simply do the same thing all by itself. We will add that to the three potatoes that I had before, making a total of five potatoes. So that's one of the vegetables, and we can start by putting those right away into the dish with the onions, because we're gonna saute these. So we'll just stir those around. Now, our next vegetable will be some carrots. And we've done a similar thing here. We have cut the carrot in half. We peel these, obviously, and then quartered. And then simply go through and dice these into not, bit, not very, very small dice, but this nice little size, any size you want. Actually, you can slice these any particular way you want. I like to make all the vegetables about the same size. So now we'll add those to uh, onions and potatoes. So there we have three vegetables in our vegetable soup. And the next will be some celery. And I have four stalks of celery. And I've already 
cut some. So we simply take the four stalks, turn that over, it might be a little easier to cut. And we're going to use the top part, leaves and all. So chopping that, we'll add that to our celery that I chopped earlier. Now we have onions, carrots, potatoes, and celery. Mixing those up, we want to probably saute these for five to 10 minutes. So we'll, from time to time, come back to that and stir. In the meantime, we're going to make a pie. We need a filling, a pie, a timbalo it's called in Italian. And that's going to make up into several items. The first of which will be salami, and that's the, the name of the pie is a salami and cheese. So I have some nice thick slices of salami. I want to cut those, and here again, I want to dice the salami. And I had one half pound. So one half pound of the salami can go into our bowl. So we'll put these that I've already cut. There we are. Don't need the lettuce. And we have some black olives, which I have cut in half. You can cut them, chop them, or leave them whole. And we have some hard cooked egg, which we want now to cut into pieces roughly. Doesn't have to be fine or any particular shape. Uh, let's stop a second and give our vegetables a twirl so that they'll all mix up and get the benefit of the sauteing. All right. So there we have the two eggs. And we simply cut the eggs in the, into any pieces or shapes that you want. They're all going to blend together in this mixture. And the other ingredient that we have uh, was two onions that we chopped, and we sauteed those in a little bit of olive oil just till they were tender and transparent. So we'll add those. Now, we did those ahead because we needed to let those cool down. You don't want to add those hot to the dish. Uh, it will cause the cheeses, when we add, to become too runny. So in the meantime, we also need a clove of garlic. So there we have one. Let's crush it first and then chop. Add that to our mixture. And first of all, let's blend all these items together. And we're going to add some Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons, and one pound of ragotta cheese, a real nice creamy cheese. And this makes our filling for our pie. Now we have to roll some dough and get this into the oven. In the meantime, though, let me just stop there a moment, go back to our vegetables. And they're just about cooked enough. So we're going to add the next ingredient, which is two cups of chicken stock. And I had it heating on the back of the stove. We'll simply put that aside. And let this come back to the simmer. And this has to cook for 15 minutes. And then we'll add the final item to the soup and we'll have one of the best tasting soups you'll ever want to ever try. So let's go back to our filling, mix that well, 
so that all the pieces are evenly distributed in the cheese. All right, now let's put this aside for the moment, clear our board, and go now to the refrigerator and retrieve our pastry dough. And that is puff pastry dough. And again, I'm using a commercial variety simply because it's fast and easy and saves a lot of time. Now what it is, nothing more than it comes in sheets. It's all packaged and they're folded in thirds. You need to thaw them out and then let's put a little flour on this board. You can see where it was folded in thirds. We want to spread this out and we're going to roll this a little thinner because I need to cover this pie dish and it's not quite big enough. So with a little bit of flour on the dough, we're going to roll it. It's still very cold and a little stiff. Don't worry about that little hook crack in the middle. We'll repair that once we get it into the, into the dish. Now, if you have a specialty store near you, you can often find puff pastry sheets frozen in larger sheets, and they're very handy. But I wanted to illustrate that from your supermarket, you, you can find a, this puff pastry dough. Now, the dough is heavily buttered, so the dish does not need any oiling, any butter, because the dough has a lot. So draping the excess over, coming up the sides there as best we can. We then want to take the filling and put that in. The first piece of pastry into the dish, spreading it around. This is gonna bake up so beautifully and have such wonderful flavor. All those nice flavors of the salami, the eggs and the onions, the olives. All right, now we've got the pie filled, but it needs a topping. So let's put this aside and take the next sheet of dough. There are two pieces in a package, so one package is sufficient. Again, just gonna give this a little roll. This doesn't have to be quite as large because it doesn't have to go up the sides. So just gonna roll it out for evenness. Now this is that pastry dough, the puff pastry, that will rise five or six times its thickness. It's a wonderful pastry. A uh, little laborious to make from scratch, not impossible, but I find many commercial brands that are exceptionally good. So we'll put this over the top. Oh, let's stop a minute. In order to make those two stick together, I need to take some egg wash and put it around the edge so that it will bind the two pieces of pastry together. An egg wash is nothing but one egg and a tablespoon of water blended together. All right, so now we can take our pie dough and put it over the top, pushing down so the dough will adhere to the dough underneath. A Little bit of egg on the top here we don't need. And then using a knife or I'm using a pastry cutter simply to give it a little flute around the edge. We cut off the excess dough and
There we go. Now, sometimes you have to pull that. This doesn't always cut through all the way. But once we get this off, now, if I had time, as I did earlier today, I would take the scraps of dough and, let's see, we may have a little time for this, I don't know. I'll simply illustrate. Taking this now, I can take a long piece like this and cutting it on an angle. First of all, let's glaze the top of our pie. This will make it a golden brown. Also, it will make any decorations that we put on to stay on. Let's see, I think I have enough time, yes. All right, we'll do one or two. So taking a piece of dough, we'll simply let it come down in a small curve. Taking another piece, we'll let that act as a stem or a branch from the limb of the other. And we'll do this similar thing here, twisting it a little differently. Then taking this dough, we're simply going to take our cutter and cut ovals, small ovals, like this. Let's do one more. I'm not going to do all of them because of the time, and, uh, but at least I will have illustrated how you can make some leaves. This is one way. Now, once you've got the dough, you simply take a knife and crease it down the middle as most leaves have, and then with your knife, you indent on the side on an angle, and it gives you the appearance of a leaf. Now, we're going to put these on our stems, and when they puff up, they'll be just beautiful. Now, I would make about 10 of these and simply place those on the tree. Now, time doesn't permit us to finish that, but you'll see the finished one shortly. So let's put this out of the way and take our pie to the oven, a 400 degree oven for one half hour. And that will take care of that. Now, back to our soup. We need to do the final thing, and that is to take a head of romaine lettuce and take the rib out, and then take the pieces and tear them, and they go into the soup. And they need a 10-minute bath in the broth, and they will add their interesting characteristic color and texture and flavor to the soup. Now that's going to take 10 minutes and we'll have our soup. In the meantime, all right. When that's finished, we'll serve the soup. Now, let's go to our asparagus, which should be boiled. They're boiling nicely over there. We need a sauce, and that's going to require a little crowded here today. Several items. Let me move them up here where we can see them and use them as we go. All right. So in a mixing bowl, I'm first of all going to take about 10 to 15 slices of anchovy. And here again, this is an anchovy dressing. So we want to chop those. And that's ingredient number one for our dressing. Then we have the garlic. 
we have two garlics, two nice heads of garlic. Let's again chop those. So the anchovy, the garlic. We have four egg yolks, which we want to crush. Hard boiled egg yolks. And they go in. And three egg yolks, uncooked. Now, let me wipe my hand. And blend this together. We'll add two tablespoons of lemon juice, our acid. Slopping it up here, I should take it easy. All right. And we're going to add a good tablespoon of chopped parsley. Now, to this, we're going to whisk in one and three quarters cup of olive oil, which is going to emulsify with the eggs and give us a form of a mayonnaise with the anchovy flavor, the garlic, and the parsley. All right, I think I have just about enough time now. Now, once you get most of that mixed in, you can add the rest quickly and then whisk it together and you have a delightful sauce for your asparagus. Clear up a little bit, and let's go now, first of all, to the asparagus. Turning our soup over, let's bring the asparagus up to the front. And getting a serving dish. Let's lift the asparagus, let them drain a little bit, just nicely done. They're just as tender as can be, and yet not so overcooked as to be inedible. I'm going to lay some of the asparagus in that direction, making sure they're all on the plate, taking some of the others, and Put those in the opposite direction. So we have our asparagus. Now we're going to have to put a little sauce on these. Let's put these few on this side, putting this aside so that we can have some room. We're going to take some of our sauce and simply pour that right down the middle and we'll serve some on the side. So there is our asparagus dish, one of the most beautiful vegetables in the market. And we can now go to our vegetable soup, which we'll probably have to move over here and put that into our soup bowl. Beautiful colors, wonderful flavors, a very straightforward and simple. So, all right, we have our soup, which I will continue to ladle out. We need only to show you our pie, and the one we did earlier, you can see how beautiful the crust has risen, and the Pastry has, decoration has come out. So we're going to now put our food in the dishes, bring them in the dining room, and arrange them there. In the meantime, we'd like to show you the recipes.
Well, here we are. We have our meal in front of us. Simple, straightforward Italian meal. Our soup, our vegetable soup, carrots, potatoes, celery, and onions, chicken broth. Absolutely delicious. And with that, we're going to have that wonderful pie. And you saw all those wonderful things that went into it. The ricotta cheese, the, the salami, and the onions, and the olives. Oh, it's, it's great with that puff pastry, that flaky dough. And our asparagus with that anchovy dressing. This is really going to be a treat. So we're going to have our meal. We're going to start with our soup. And, of course, a little red wine will be very good with this meal. So we have a red and we are pouring some for ourselves and for you. We hope you'll try this meal. A biento. La douceur du temps nous fait des avances. Partez, mes enfants, vous avez 20 ans. Ah, 